Paul called to tell me to hurry up because he'd been waiting in my driveway for 10 minutes. So I rushed downstairs and I went in the fridge to grab my apple slices because I needed apples for the hike because apparently I'm a healthy person now. I got an extra coat in my camera and then I went in his car and I saw that he had a Tim Hortons bagel sitting there. So I tried to take a small bite of it when he grabbed it from me and then half of it fell on my lap. Sorry, Animal, I just love everything bagels. And then I put his bagel back and I felt kind of bad because it landed on my leggings that was full of hair. Kind of gross, sorry. And we had to stop to get gas anyways and there was another Tim Hortons in there. So I offered to buy him another bagel, but he said no. So then we went into the gas station instead and I was thirsty. So I had to go get water for the hike. And then I saw it was two for three. So I got Emma a water too. Wow, I'm such a good friend and what a deal. I swear we drove past like 10 McDonald's is on the way and I just wanted chicken nuggets so bad. So I decided to take a small nap because I just, you know, I couldn't keep thinking about them. And then I remembered I had apples in my pocket. So I ate those, but I kept thinking about chicken nuggets. Look at those baby trees. They're so cute. We stopped in Banff before our hike. And this is me pretending that I'm not already freezing. And then Emma said that I had to get mittens for my hike or else my hands were gonna freeze off. So we went in this little overpriced gift shop and I saw these black mittens and I thought they were really cute. So I tried them on and then I accidentally ripped the tag off of them. My bad, I'm sorry. And I saw that they were $80 and I was not gonna buy $80 mittens and Emma told me there was other ones up there. So I went to try some on. It turns out I was actually trying on slippers. This is me realizing that I was trying on slippers. The tag said hand knits and I thought it said hand mitts. I'm kind of dyslexic. And then I saw these cheap mittens. So I got those. Apparently I was taking too long. So Emma started doing stretches in the store and then I started doing stretches with him. And then I tried on the mittens. And you know that sweater that your great aunt Evelyn knits for you at Christmas time and then you feel it and it's really itchy. Yeah, that's what they felt like, but it's okay. And then I had a coughing attack in the store and then I paid for them and then the guy cut them for me. He was so nice. Got my itchy blue mittens and we were ready to go. I offered Emma one of my mittens and he said no. When we got in the car, we realized our hike was 45 minutes away and we were wondering if we should even go, but then we ended up going. Tried to put my foot on Emma's car and he said, no, don't do that. So then I took my shoe off and then I put my mitten on my foot and I mean, it worked. 45 minutes later and we were finally there and then I realized I should probably change into my other coat because I was freezing already and then I realized there was a bathroom over there so I had to pee. Finally peed and then I put my mitts down and pee signed because I'm a literal 12 year old. My hands were wet because those hand dryers never actually work. Made it to Lake Louise and it was literally so pretty and it was even prettier when I put my glasses on. For some reason I never wear my glasses but whenever I put them on I'm like whoa I can actually see the world. A wild concept. Then I saw this little kid getting pulled around in a sleigh and I asked Admiral if he would do that for me but he said no. He stopped at this ice sculpture to take pictures and I saw someone who looked like Donald Trump and then I kept trying to get a picture but everyone kept walking in my way. It was kind of sad. And Admiral told me he'd give me $10 if I licked the ice and he thought my tongue was gonna get stuck to it but it didn't and it tasted really really bad. Honestly would not recommend. Now it was time for our hike. I zipped up my jacket and then I found out. Four hours. <laughs> the hike was gonna be four to six hours. I was actually kind of excited for it but then three minutes into the hike I was dying already. I thought it was gonna be like two hours and then I sat on the ground and I told him that I was not going to go on the hike for four hours but then I realized that there was apples in my pocket. It made me really happy so I ate an apple and then I dipped it in snow and it tasted so good. I don't know why I was so happy about an apple and then I offered Ammo my last apple and he was very happy to take it and then he told me we had to get going. Then he told me to go stand under this tree for a picture and he threw a snowball under the tree and snow fell all over my head. What the heck animal? I was a little bit mad not gonna lie so I decided to take a stand so I laid down. I wanted to go back, but then Animal surprised me and he told me he brought me a juice box and I was actually so happy about it. I love peach juice. It's one of my favorite juices ever. This one didn't taste that good though. I'm pretty sure it's because it had no sugar in it, but it's okay. I just sat down and then I drank my peach juice. It was fine. Three minutes in and I was like, this isn't that bad. Look at how pretty this is. And then I thought we had to go up there, but then I realized that the path was right there. So then we started climbing some more. The path just kind of disappeared for this part and I was freaking out a little bit because I knew I was going to fall because I always fall and stupid things always happen to me. So it took me forever, but I finally got past it. Most said I was being dramatic and annoying. So he decided to pick up this boulder of snow and he tried to throw it at me. He dropped it a few times and then and it freaking fell down the mountain. The path was kind of non-existent for this part too, and I didn't want to cross it because I didn't want to end up like the boulder of snow that just fell, but I was okay, I made it. This is getting more sad. <laughs> just a little sad, but it's okay. We made it to these signs where it said where the lakes were, and I was so tired, but oh my gosh, I saw another big sign and I knew the lake was up there. To be honest, this lake was kind of lame. The only cool thing was that giant rock up there, and then Emma said we're gonna hike to another lake. <laughs> It was a half a mile away and it was avalanche area, which was great. I pouted a little bit, but it was okay because the paths turned into slides and we basically slid around everywhere until we had to start walking up the slides. I swear every second step I took, I ended up falling, but then Emma literally almost fell off the mountain. Look, his whole leg is in the snow. I don't even know how he that happened. We're actually on a mountain. Made it to this one lookout point and my brain literally could not comprehend that we were on top of a mountain until I saw this. It was crazy. Then I took some really cute Instagram pictures right there. You should go check it out. It's on Insta. And then I scooped the snow because I realized the snow up here must be so fresh and I ate it and oh my gosh, it was so good. I gave Animal a scoop of fresh snow and we both started eating snow together. It was a great bonding moment. Now here's the part where we almost died. We had to walk up these icy, icy stairs that was basically a slide in order to get to the lake and oh my gosh. I don't think I can do that. I didn't think I could do it. Took me at least half an hour to try to even get up the stairs because look, it's like basically a giant slide. I was so scared the whole time and if I fell down these stairs, I would have fallen off the mountain and died right there. Like I swear. It was all ice. I had no traction. I had to dig my feet into the little holes. I got up the stairs <laughs> and I don't know how I'm gonna get back down. It was scarier than it looks. And then we arrived at this little tea house. Apparently it's open during the summer. How do 
How do they get to work? But like, how do people work there? I don't understand. Do they have to hike like two and a half hours to get to work? View of the lake was actually so pretty. I was shook and so were my feet. They were actually frozen. I could not feel them. And then a windstorm started happening and we huddled in a corner and we almost thought we were gonna die. It got so cold and snow started falling everywhere. So we had to get out of there quickly. Somehow we got down the stairs without slipping and falling to our death. And then halfway down the mountain, we decided to just lay there and chill for a while because well, our life kind of flashed before our eyes when we almost died up there. I've only been on a few hikes in my life. This was definitely the scariest one. Got in the car and my hands were so happy because they were so warm finally. I thought I was gonna cry tears of joy, not gonna lie. We went back to Banff and do you ever just stare at yourself in the reflection of store windows as you walk by? Because same. Smelled something really good and it turns out it was this chocolate place and I was like, you know what? After a day of almost dying, I think I deserve chocolate for once. Who cares about lactose intolerance? And then I got this Rocky Road cluster thing. It was $4, but honestly, it was the best $4 I've ever spent on anything. It was the best tasting thing I've ever had in my entire life. That or I only had four pieces of apple that day. And then we went to Tony Roma so we could actually go eat real food. And I still ate my cluster though. I'm pretty sure animal was judging me. And then I decided to take a small nap because I was exhausted from the day. It smells like art. <laughs> it smelled really bad under the table. And then animal started doing stretches and I thought it was really funny. And then my freaking food came and I stole one of animal's fries. And then honestly, I'm pretty sure that was the best salad I've ever had. I was really happy and I was also freezing. So I went to hug this bear. It wasn't very warm. It didn't really help. And then I went in the car and then I finished the rest of my cluster and fell asleep. It was a really good day.